have quite a number of travel agents there. We have our own office there that is selling a lot uh, of uh, tickets uh, for people to travel, not only in and out of uh, uh, Juba, but even beyond. Uh, and therefore, the accumulation of uh, the Sudanese pounds there uh, have not been uh, managed in, in such a way that we get dollars uh, out so that we can um, uh, service other facilities like uh, buying spare parts, uh, paying for aviation uh, fuel, and so on and so forth. Literally, about 90% of uh, an airline operation is dealt by foreign currency. And the result of that um, scarcity of foreign exchange, uh, we are forced to, uh, to do this. The management is actually uh, trying to get foreign exchange. Uh, precisely, that is what they're very much engaged in. And, um, uh, but obviously, um, uh, they, they had to talk to, to, uh, to staff. They had to explain to them what is happening. And uh, it's for them now to um, probably by Monday to, uh, to go home and wait uh, to see whether uh, there will be new development as in terms of foreign exchange. Uh, there is a lot of money in there, and um, unless, unless that is forthcoming, um, and, and unless we get somebody else to facilitate that, that, uh, that, that, uh, uh, those funds, then um, uh, we might be out of business for a few days or a few weeks until that is done. Our flight was 9.45, so we were here from 6.30. We thought we'll get here early, we, you know, we've just been messed around. We assumed it was something to do with Juba, that they weren't going to be flying into Juba, and, and that was it, we didn't think anything of it. We and did we, check the website before we left. Yeah, and there was right. nothing. But even when we arrived here, it didn't say cancelled for two hours mm -hmm. on the... Uh, on the screen, it was still. So, what is the office telling you? They're telling us that um, they, well, they have no money now. They're being honest. Well, to a certain degree. At the beginning, when we first got here, it was, oh, we're terribly sorry. Um, we've had to cancel the flight. We'll put you onto another flight, which was fine. Come back in an hour, which we did. KQ, no, we can't get you on there. They're fully booked now. I spoke to my travel agent, and she said, no, there's availability. Uh, Fly 540, no, we put, we've put you on that, but then no, again, it was the same story, we've, we've cancelled it, there's too many, you know, they're fully booked, the rest of it. So we've just been messed around, but not not been honest with. That's what I don't appreciate. All I want is honesty. My husband did manage to speak to the, um, what is he, the uh, station manager, and managed to get him to sign that they will refund the ticket, and they will also pay for the, um, the accommodation cancellation fee. We'll see though if it works. I hope so. Are you ever going to fly with the jet the, No, this is the first and the last time. Yeah, never, ever. <laughs> I won't be doing it again. <laughs> One, two, three.